Hello again. Welcome back to part five. Um, this, just as a reminder, we took it from a sketch to a line drawing and then transferred to rolled clay, sculpted the clay, baked that, used chalk pastel as mold release, and now we have this mold baked. And um, after playing around with it a little bit, the method that I'm going to use now to try to make a copy of the original so that I can do the faux copper effect with it um, is going to be taking this and pressing it down and I'll be using a, uh, a sponge or a very battered old bit of sponge to do that. Now again, for the faux copper um, effect that I, I like to do, I start with a color of polymer clay, and I am using Sculpey Primo. Uh, I, I start with a color of polymer clay that is in the family of um, a muted blue-green um, uh, copper patina color because that will be the deepest part the lowest part and that's where you would get the patina to augment that when I load in the colors for the um, for the mold the mold release I use this family of colors generally getting on camera um, I get I use this family of colors to um, to accentuate those blues and greens but for this particular project because it's meant to be Christmassy I'm gonna do this as my general base color um, with the clay I have tended a little bit more green than I normally do um, you can push that color one way or another depending on the project. When I did watery things, I made it bluer. I want to hint at, hint at the holly. Getting some brown, mostly around the edges. You don't have to cover every tiny bit of it. You do want to try. So I am now going to add little pops of green like I did with the first of these ornaments. I think this one will come out looking more specifically like holly, um, but they both have a little bit of a Christmassy feel because I did that and the red for the berries. Because this one only has these um, five berries and then the ones in her hair. Want to make sure that we get that in there. These colors will end up a little more muted um, and they'll be mostly covered but it definitely makes a difference. Um, when you, when you lay down the colors underneath. You know, you can still see I put more of the light blue in here because I was doing a frost color and that has the, the air in it. But then here you can, you can see more of the, the green tones that come through and some of the red here. The red still comes through. So, it gives a little bit more of that hint. All right, um, I don't know how well this is gonna go, so we'll all have fun together. I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit more before I get started. I'm not intending to trim it, but it'll be fun. Okay, so. I want to make sure that I get the berries 
nicely clearly defined um, because I made that so deep it's made it difficult to do a normal impression um, like I usually would where I just put the clay down here and then I do the brute force part um, so I'm trying this method now usually ends up with a more irregular shape to it um, but it has the bonus of making the back more interesting and as the intent is to be an ornament which might be viewed from more than one side or you know, the back might show a little bit more than it would as a pendant perhaps this is actually a good thing this down now and there will be some cracking as we go 